Hey girl, what's up girl? So this is part two. Here we are at part two. If you have not seen part one, you need to do so. I will leave it in the click down if I remember. If I forget, uh, somebody please remind me in the comments so that way I can go back and put it in there so you can see it. If you have stumbled across this video, uh, by means of YouTube suggestions or friends or what, however, however you stumble across videos. There is a part one to this. I mean, I, it should be pretty obvious things is how the title says part two. So again, part one in the click down. If I remember, if I do not, somebody will tell me and I will put it there. Okay. I definitely suggest you watch part one. Um, because then it, that's where it explains everything. I'm not going to explain everything here. So let's continue on to part two of Beauty Guru Shit That Needs to Die in 2017. This next one doesn't, again, does not just pertain to beauty gurus. It pertains to all of the YouTubers, all of them. And that is clickbait titles. This beauty guru was kidnapped and raised by a pack of wild wolves since birth. I gotta see this. Girl, stop with your fucking clickbait titles, please. Uh, all it does is piss people off. And then if the people are pissed off, guess what? They're gonna go down in your comment section. They're gonna leave you a bunch of shitty ass comments. Like, why do you have to use a clickbait title? I get it, it gets you views and whatever else, but like, really bitch? For me, I feel like it's really fucking dishonest to do that, like, oh my god, I got fucking kidnapped and strangled and blah, blah, blah. And you open the video and you find out this guy followed me out to my car at the grocery store. And when I pulled away, he took off. Like, where is that correlating? What the hell? What, what the fuck? What the fuck? Where is the kidnapping and the fucking strangling and like the everything else? Where's that? They don't even mention that in the video. Like, what the actual fuck? Along with that, just throwing it out there. I'm not talking about any one specific person because it's been a lot of people who've done it. So don't think it's just one person when I tell you this because it's been a lot. Believe it or not, search it up. It's been a lot. Been a lot. I can't talk to you. <laughs> um, along with that is the whole, I am leaving YouTube. I'm done with YouTube. I'm not coming back to YouTube. And then you open the video and that is completely not their intentions. No intentions of not filming anymore. No intentions of any of that. They just put that on there to get you to fucking click on the goddamn video. Just stop with the clickbait titles. Just all together. All together, just stop. Just stop with clickbait titles. Please. YouTube are saying that brand trips do not influence the way that they feel about a product. So let me get this straight. You want to take me on a $25,000 trip so I'll talk good about your products? Okay. Lines. Pretend, let's pretend for a second, shall we? Let's pretend. So pretend like you and your best friend, your best friend comes up to you and she's like, hey girl, hey, oh my God, I have all this fucking money and all these products and stuff. I'm going to take you on this huge lavish trip to Bora Bora and I'm going to buy everything for you. I'm going to give you a bunch of makeup. I'm going to give you a bunch of clothes. I'm going to give you everything. Do you really think you're going to turn around and tell your friend, um, I don't really like that product you gave me. Just saying, I just didn't really care for it. No, you're not. Why? Because she gave you all of that shit. She took you on a trip. She fucking gave you this. She gave you that. She gave you clothes. She took you on a fucking snowboarding, skiing, fucking extravaganza trip in a little hut on the fucking clearest of the clear oceans. No, you're not going to tell her that. YouTuber clubs. Hey guys, I just clapped with you guys on this ballet. You should go buy it. I'm never going to use it in a video. But I want you to buy it anyways, because it has my name on it, and I make lots of money off of it. Thanks. Use my code, Barbie. Use my code, Barbie. Use my code. Collaborating with a brand uh, in order to make an eyeshadow palette, or even just creating an eyeshadow palette on your own, but never fucking making videos on it. There are so many beauty gurus that come out with palettes or come out with collabs or what have you, and they never use the fucking palettes. 
Like, isn't that the point of you? I, okay, call me crazy, call me crazy. I thought the point of you specifically coming out with a palette was so that you could use that palette and your subscribers could use that palette to follow the tutorials that you put out. Isn't that why you come out with it? That's why I thought they came out with it. Am I just going about this all wrong? Like, why would you come out with a collab but never use the fucking palette? I just, I don't get it, girl. I just don't get it. Use your goddamn palettes. Use them. And I don't know, film videos on them. That would be great too. So this one, again, again, is a little bit of a personal pet peeve of mine. Completely, insanely over the top videos and vlogs. Like, I understand that you know like really well edited and really nice crisp like super pretty videos are like really cool to look at um and your vlogs are like you got the fucking drone going and this and that and everything it just looks like a fucking movie i get that that is really cool and it's really neat to look at and a lot of people like watching those but i feel like do you have to do it for every fucking video every single video do you have to do that for every video like why can't you just tone down a little just tone it down just a little what happened to the days of the beauty community and youtube when beauty gurus used to sit at the edge of their bed and talk about the fucking products that they liked that they bought with their own money what happened to that what happened to that that was so relatable and attainable like it was awesome and i feel like the YouTube beauty community has just completely done away with that. It's fucking insane. Like, can we just get back to that just a little bit? Because 80% of the people out there, I'm just guessing. I'm just throwing some numbers out there, just guessing on statistics. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't do that at all because I myself love watching those videos. I love watching Casey Neistat's videos and I love watching the videos where, you know, the fucking cameras all over the place and you got the fucking drones and I love watching those too but I also want you to throw some relatable videos in there just you fucking chilling on your couch talking to the camera when you talk to the camera why do you have to have the background and this and that and this going like I've seen some people just jump on camera to like say one thing or the other and they've got the whole background everything all the stuff going and lights and this and that and the next thing i get it i understand that shitty quality videos are really hard to watch but you don't have to have shitty quality you can still have nice quality but have like a relatable type video and it doesn't have to be every video just once in a while once in a while throw a relatable one in there once in a while and which that just reminded me and i didn't even write it down but as far as the backgrounds go get your own background why does everybody have to do the same backgrounds this goes back to being original being yourself like doing what nobody else has done i obviously am fucking guilty of it this looks like a standard youtube background i'm guilty of it too believe me i know that i know i'm guilty of it but why can't we come up with something different? Like, go film a fucking makeup video outside or something. That would be stupid. I don't know why I said that, but it's just like, it gets a little redundant when you see people with like the same flat background with the light, you know, around the back like this and the same glittery background. Remember when glitter backgrounds were a thing and everybody had the glitter background? Well now, like flat colored backgrounds are the thing with a little light behind your back that puts a little circle on the background behind your back. Hey guys, did you see my new background? I know it looks like everybody else's, but do you see, do you see my new background? Morphe, use my code Morphe. Do you see it? You like my new background? It's so clean and clear. I love it. Do you love it? Everybody else has the same one. Morphe code, use my code discount. Why, 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 why does it have to always be the same thing over and over and over? It's just crazy. It's just crazy. I'm guilty of it too. I am. I just want the old days of YouTube when people used to sit on their beds and talk about the products that they like. Please. Can we come back to that for just one video? Just one? Guess what? We're on the last one, folks. Yeah, we are. We're on the last one. And the very last thing, the very last, finally, we made it. We're finally here. We're finally to the last thing, and that 
Also, BT dubs, I just want to throw out there. This thing, the last thing on our list of beauty guru shit that needs to die in the year 2017 is also just happens to be a pet peeve of my own. I don't know if it's a pet peeve of y'all's. If it is, please let me know because I would like to know if I'm not the only person that feels this way. Snapchat reviews, hauls, tutorials, swatches, PR unboxings. Do you guys want to see me swatch and review this new palette? Right here on Snapchat? Right here? Do you want to see me do it here? I mean, I could make a video on it. But let's be real, that'd be way too much effort, right? I do not understand. Oh, that just reminded me of one more thing. I swear I'll do one more thing and then I'm done after this and then the one more thing and then I'll be done, I swear, I swear. Um, why do you not make a video out of that? When people get new palettes and they go on Snapchat and they're like, oh my God, swatch, 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 swatch. Look at this new palette, it looks like this. Lipsticks, oh my God, swatch, 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 swatch. Look at all these lipsticks, they're fucking amazing. Ooh, look, I'm trying this new palette, it's awesome. Ooh, I'm trying this new lipstick, it's awesome. Make a fucking video. Why would you not make a video out of that? Why? Not every single solitary person in the world wants to fucking download Snapchat just to watch your shit. I don't understand it. And another reason why I don't understand why they don't just make videos instead of Snapchat is because YouTube fucking pays you. YouTube pays you. So why not make a video? Why? It doesn't have to be fucking perfect glitz and glamour and what else. Like, the people just want to see the products and they want to know how you feel about them. And they want to see new shit coming out. Like, it's not fair to put it on Snapchat and then not put it on video. I'm just saying, that's just pet peeve of mine. It drives me fucking crazy. I always think, why would you not make a video? Like, some of the people that I follow, I genuinely like these people. And I'm like, why are you doing all this on Snapchat? Can't you just make a video, please? Please? Because you know if they're on Snapchat, it's not gonna be that long and they're gonna keep on getting cut off. And it's just, it's a mess, girl. It turns into a mess. I'm just saying, that's a pet peeve of mine. Going along with that, and I swear to God, this is my last one. I swear it is. I swear, I swear it's my last one. I swear. My dogs are even coming up here. They're like, bitch, we've been out here forever. We got some pay. Um, the very last one, along with the whole Snapchat reviewing tutorials, whatever, is beauty gurus that come on to video and say, oh my God. This highlighting palette is so amazing. I've been wearing it all month long. But yet they're on Snapchat every fucking day without makeup. So how did you wear it all month again when I see you on Snapchat every fucking day without makeup on? How are you wearing that? Or them saying like, oh, this fucking neon green eyeshadow is so fucking amazing. I wore it every day this week. But yet you see them on Snapchat not wearing it every day that week. Like, hello, you're making yourselves look like idiots. What the hell? Why do you gotta lie? Why do you gotta lie? Why? Just, just why? All right, y'all. So that's it for part two. I had to split this in two because it was entirely too long for one video. Sir, as I said in the first one, do you guys have any beauty guru shit? In case you did not see the first one, do you have any beauty guru shit that needs to die in the year 2017? Please let a bitch know in the comments. Also, if you did not see the first one, I will say it again. I will link it in the click down. Maybe, possibly, if I didn't, somebody fucking remind me, please, because y'all know I forget everything. So, that is what's up. That's it. So, I'm going to go, because I've been sitting in this chair for like six hours. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you are not. Do not forget to hit the bell so you don't get unsubscribed from my channel. Follow me on all my social media over here, and I will catch you guys in my next one. Peace. Oh, ling -ling. I feel like I need to my friends. I saw my fingers a lot. <laughs> I fucking forgot it again. What? Next thing's next. Or next thing's next. Next thing's next. <laughs> what? I just been like that the whole fucking time, just sticking straight up in the air. Really?
ass today? Why is my necklace like doing this weird ass thing that it's doing? So this next one, I hate it when I do that. A lot, la, a lot, la, 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 la.